Hello, my lovely lean girls, and welcome back to the Lean Girl YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be another meal prep revolutionized, and we are doing it the Lean Girl way. And that means we are not eating the same thing every single day, but we are still prepping and planning in advance. So I have done one recipe like this already where we made my Lean Girl mom's favorite mince recipe. So if you haven't checked that one out, after you watch this one, you better head there and check that one out too. But today we are going to be doing the good old chicken breast, um, which is normally a pretty standard item for meal prep. And it's normally pretty boring and pretty tasteless. And it normally goes with chicken and, oh, chicken doesn't go with chicken. Chicken normally goes with like rice and broccoli. And I mean, it, that doesn't even taste good on day one. Never mind on day three or day four. Like that is a sure way to throw your diet out the window when you're eating the same boring, terrible, tasteless food day in and day out. So you girls know it is my mission on this planet to show you how you can eat all of the delicious food that you love and you can reach your lean body goals at the same time. And so that is the inspiration for this video. This is the inspiration for this meal prep idea that I'm going to share with you today. And essentially the idea is we are making our chicken breasts deliciously in advance. So I'm gonna show you how I make super juicy, tasty, very simple chicken breasts. And then we are gonna be making three different meal ideas that are practically no cook, Okay, I'm cheating here because the last one, you need a microwave. So I don't know if you could technically say that that is cooking, but um, I'm cheating a little bit there. Otherwise, they're still super quick, super easy, super simple, fab lunch ideas. What I love to do for lunch is I don't like to take a lot of time. Like dinner, I don't mind spending like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at max cooking. But when it comes to my lunch, I just want to, in between work, quickly throw something together and have something that is really hearty and delicious and satisfying and that is going to keep me going throughout the afternoon and not um, have me scrounging in the cupboard for some sweets or something. So I am really excited for today's video. I'm going to be showing you um, the chicken breasts. We are going to get started with that. And then three of my favorite lean girl chicken recipes that are going to rock your world and help you create that rocking body that I know is on your goals list. So let's get out of the talking, into the cooking, and then into the eating. So I will see you in a second. This chicken recipe is super simple, but don't underestimate it. It honestly gets the perfect chicken breasts every single time. So the first thing we want to do is we want to tenderize these little honeys. So you want to get yourself some glad wrap and then a good cave woman like tool. Um, I'm using a very professional tenderizer here. I didn't have one for a very long time. I actually used a rolling pin, but hey, we upgraded the kitchen utensils. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to give them a good little bash and get them as even as possible so that the thickness is the same all round. You don't have to get your measuring tape out, but just try your best. And this is how we are going to get perfectly cooked, even cooking. Because when you throw a big fat chicken breast on, generally the middle it's still raw and the outside is completely dry. So this is going to help us here. And then another little tip is to actually leave these out and have them at room temperature before you start to cook them. This actually helps with the tenderness as well as not drying them out. Something happens when you put something super cold into a hot pan, it kind of just shrinks up the breast. So if you have some time, it's not a train smash if you don't, but try and leave them out for a good 20 to 30 minutes. Um, before you actually start getting to work on them. Now, the important part is a chicken breast doesn't taste like much without any seasoning. So I have started off with some steers. That's actually the chip seasoning, which I really love. And then there's some garlic powder and some paprika. And so you want to do this on both sides. I really need to get a shaker for this paprika because 
I'm pretty sure that is not kosher that I just put that teaspoon back into the paprika after smearing it on the chicken, but hey, we're still alive. Um, so again, just my sear seasoning salt. I actually really love this and I put it on a lot of things, not just on chips. And again, going in with my paprika, you can do normal or smoked paprika. And that is pretty much it. I then have my griddle pan. You could use a normal pan, but I do love this because it gives those nice griddle marks on the outside. And you want your pan, very important to be pretty hot before you put them on. So medium to high heat. Don't like have them boiling as they warm up and then you want to hit them on both sides and so the key numbers here you want to remember is four minutes on the one side and three to four minutes on the other side this I tell you is the perfect cooking time for your chicken breasts so four minutes on one side three to four minutes on the other so four minutes flip them four minutes take them off and then let them rest All right, let's get started with our first chicken recipe. So now we are going to be making a delicious green goddess salad dressing, starting off with some baby spinach leaves and a couple of basil leaves. I've then chopped up some spring onions. We are gonna then season it up with some garlic powder. You girls know I have a heavy hand, salt and pepper, and then just a little squirt of lemon juice. And then to make it nice and creamy, we are using some low fat yogurt. Blend it up and you are going to have the most beautiful green salad dressing that is going to rock your world. Then grab a large wrap and we are just going to build up our lovely wrap. Again, with the baby spinach leaves, I prefer these to the big spinach leaves as I find them sweeter. And then I used a peeler to peel some of these baby marrows to make really nice little spirals. And then some avocado, make sure you get a nice delicious ripe one. And you can just lay all of your little avocado pieces down and you can add any other green veggies or I guess you don't have to keep it green, but I just think it looks pretty fancy when all the colors are the same. So just lay out your avocado. You can also give this a good crack of pepper and salt because I love to season everything as I go. And then you can lay on your lovely, beautiful, juicy chicken breast. And then we are gonna top this off with our wonderful green goddess dressing. And I guarantee you girls are gonna love this dressing even for your salads. It's really low calorie. It's got a lovely flavor and you can actually bottle it and keep it in the fridge for a couple of days. I always sprinkle on a couple of seeds as a finishing touch and there you go. Right, on to our next recipe. So this time you are going to chop up your chicken breast into small cubes and then we are going to make a lovely coronation chicken sauce. So we are using some low fat um, yogurt again and we are going in with some chutney. Then to spice it up, we are using some mild curry powder, some salt and pepper, and then just half a teaspoon of turmeric as well, which I just love the color of and really makes this pop. And don't forget the salt and pepper on this one. Then you are going to throw in your chicken and have it beautifully coated with our coronation sauce. Forgot the coriander here. If you are a coriander fan, then you can throw some of that in too. So the bread I'm using here is the Albany Low Kitted Jewel bread. I'm actually using three slices, so we are making a triple decker sandwich. This is nice and low cal, 67 cal per slice, or you could also use sandwich thins if you prefer. And now you just want to layer on your chicken. You can do this on two slices because we are going to layer it up. And then I'm just adding some more spinach leaves for a pop of color. And I like the crunchy freshness of the spinach too. So you can then finish up your chicken on your top slice and then cover it again with one more slice. Pop on the lid and then you can give it a lovely slice. And this is going to make for a delicious, really filling and super tasty quick lunch that is kind of upgraded from our regular sandwich.
On to our last of the three recipes. So you wanna grab some of these low fat instant noodles from Woolworths. You could also use Maggie two minute noodles and I used half of the pack. Then grab your favorite light cup of soup. I use veggie here, but I think chicken would have even been better. And then I steamed some green veggies and baby corn. So there's spinach, broccoli, baby corn, some green beans and some edamame in here. I first thought I would have the whole bowl and then I was like, whoa, this is not gonna be a good noodle to veggie ratio. So I decided to take a couple of them out because we don't want this to feel too green. <laughs> so I actually decided to use half the pack here. I think it was around 200 grams that I left. And so yeah, the nice Asian, Asian like um, veggies are the best that work here. And then you popped your noodles into the microwave with your soup, which made a lovely sauce for our little chow mein. And then you are going to slice up your chicken breast once again. And as I mentioned, it's good to leave your chicken breast to rest before you actually slice it up. If you do have a few minutes to spare, this helps to lock in the juices. Then you are going to top your noodles off with your chicken breast. And you can again dust this with a couple of spring onions and a little bit of my handy seeds, which makes it look very Asian inspired. And there we go. Okay, my lovely girls, I hope that those chicken recipes inspired you to think differently about meal prep to show you that you can still have interesting, delicious meals. It's very simple ingredients that take faith, Manita. If you just make your chicken breast this weekend, you are gonna have them good to go and you can cook up these three different meals. And hey, make it a challenge for yourself to say, at least from you know Monday to Wednesday, I'm gonna be doing my meal prep, depending on how many days you wanna do. You could also rotate the recipes. So have like Monday and Thursday, you could have the same thing. Tuesday and Friday, you could have the same thing and kind of work it out that way. And all you need to cook is your chicken breasts. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know down in the comments which of these three meals is going to be the first one that you make and which one looked most delicious and which one are yeah which one are you most excited to make i want to know because when i ate them i could not decide which one i liked most i think it had to be maybe the wrap because that green genie sauce is so good i've now been making it and putting it on other things so it is so delicious i'm really enjoying that um, and girls don't forget that every single recipe i ever make i know a lot of them go on youtube and a lot of them go on instagram but they all go into My Lean Girl Kitchen Coach, which is the ultimate recipe hub and meal planning tool an essay girl could ever dream of. Every single recipe I ever make goes in there and it is all written out in really simple to use format. You can access it via mobile, via your computer. So really nice and simple. I use it every single week to do my meal planning. Everything is calorie uh, categorized. So you can say, cool, I know for lunch, I've got 500 calories or 400 calories. You can go to that category and see all of the meals that are gonna fit within that budget. And um, you have to know that every single one of these meals has been created by moi, who you know, loves her protein. So they're all high protein. And secondly, they are normally huge portions. So many of you message me be like, is this portion for one person? I'm like, for one Angie. Yes. <laughs> so all the meals are really big and satisfying. And this is one of the secrets to getting and staying lean. Hunger is the enemy, right? When we are hungry, we definitely don't make good food decisions. We never feel satisfied. We always feel deprived. So this is really what these recipes are here to do. They help you to take your willpower and discipline out of the equation. And then you don't need it when you're eating delicious food that keeps you full and satisfied. So it's a lot easier to stick to your diet for a lot longer, which means consistency, adherence, results, which is what we want. So um, if you need some help in the meal planning department, check that out and then look out for my next video. I serve one up every single week. We have recipes, we have educational content, simplifying the science of lean to help you on your lean bod journey and show you that you can start living now while you are getting lean. You don't have to wait. You can have it all. So I hope that you girls enjoy this video. Look out for another one. I'm not sure what protein I'll be doing next, so I'll surprise you. Um, but I will be doing another meal prep video. If you girls enjoy this, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I won't be serving anything up. I won't be doing any more. Okay.
let me know. Gotta comment, gotta subscribe, gotta like the video, show your girl some love, and then I will never stop. I'm fueled by likes. I'm fueled by subscribers, by you girls. You know what to do. I'll see you girls next week. Mwah! Enjoy your chicken.